Are you looking for the best automation tool? Today we are diving deep into a head-to-head -head comparison of N8N and Defy. Whether you are a developer, a business owner, or just curious about automation, this video will help you decide which one is best for you. So stick around till the end. Now what are N8N and Defy? N8N is an open source workflow automation tool. It allows users to connect different applications and automate tasks. It focuses on flexibility, self-hosting, and API integration. Now for DeFi, it is an AI-powered workflow automation and chatbot platform, more focused on AI agents, automation, and LLM-powered features. It is designed for no-code and low-code users. N8N is more general-purpose automation, while DeFi focuses on AI-driven automation, user interface, and ease of use. When talking about N8N's user interface, it has node-based drag-and-drop interface, requires a slight learning curve for beginners, and finally, workflow execution visualization. Defies UI, more user-friendly with AI-assisted workflow building, no-code approach for setting up automation and chatbots, simplified but less customizable than N8N. Defy is easier for beginners, but N8N offers deeper customization for developers. Features and capabilities, automation and workflows. For N8N, it's more flexible and can handle complex logic. Defy focuses more on AI-powered automation, integration and API support. N8N has more than 200 integrations and has great API support. Defy has fewer integrations, but good for AI-related tasks. AI capabilities. N8N can integrate with AI services, but not native AI. Defy built an AI workflow automation, so it is better for chatbots, data processing, and workflow execution. N8N advanced workflow execution with logic and conditions. Defy simple execution, limited advanced logic. So if you need AI automation, you would definitely go with DeFi. For general automation, N8N is the better choice. Performance and scalability. Now let's talk about performance. How fast do these platforms actually run? I ran a test where both tools processed 100 automation tasks. N8N took 12 seconds using about 50 megabytes of memory, while DeFi took 8 seconds but required more API calls making it potentially more expensive. So N8N performs better for complex workflows, but DeFi is faster for AI tasks. Pricing and cost comparison. N8N pricing, you have two main plans, the free self-hosted version and the cloud plans that are starting at $20 per month. DeFi pricing, you have the free tier plan available, plus the paid plans, depending mainly on AI API usage. So the more you use it, the more you pay. Now, which one is more cost effective? N8N is better for self-hosting and cost control, while DeFi can get expensive if you use a lot of AI APIs. Community and support. Now, what if you need help? When talking about N8N community, it has large open source community, active forums, and detailed documentation. DeFi support is smaller, but dedicated AI support for chatbots related issues. So N8N has better long-term community support. Final verdict. Now you may be wondering right now, which one should you choose? I'll make it simple. Choose N8N if you need a deep automation control, if you want a free self-hosted solution, and if you do not mind a small learning curve. And choose DeFi if you want AI-driven automation, if you prefer a no-code experience, or if you need quick chatbot automation. Overall winner. So in fact, it depends on your needs, preferences, goals, but for general automation, I would say N8N wins. If you want AI first automation, then DeFi is the way to go. And now let me know down below in the comments, which one will you go for and why? And that's all for this comparison. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe to the channel, leave us a good comment and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you in a new video.